Why, Miss Xavier, and welcome to Operation Flagrant Loss. What do you guys think the outcome of this mission is going to be? A. Well, first of all, I know, I think this um, bouncing thing was finally fixed. Like, see how the camera just like went over there, panned back, and they started panning back, and then stopped, and then cut back? I think that's actually fixed in 1.5. That was, I think, the very first bug I ever reported back like last June or something. Uh, interestingly enough. But anywho, uh, what I was trying to get on uh, about here was that in the Sky Ranger, while I was waiting for the game to load, this mission took forever, meaning this is a ginormous map. And sure enough, we got the evac of the frigging... Wow. <laughs> okay, right. So here's our four guys. Here's where we need to go. And there's the evac. That could not physically be any further. Uh, believe it or not, at one point it actually could be further than that. But yeah. So here's the plan. Look at that. Oh, I thought that was going to be a civilian hiding behind high, uh, high cover there. But... Uh, the plan is we need to get up, rescue Mr. K! Mr. K is in here as well as, um, I think, what was it, like, Yi Hei or some such? Uh, and two rebels. This is not the most valuable jailbreak in history, but this this region could be pretty useful. Especially because I believe a point of strength just came out of South Africa and went into New Indonesia. And we're going to spike the vigilance there, meaning it's going to hold on to that. So Africa could be a nice stomping grounds. So having an extra two rebels there is not a bad idea. Uh, and also, of course, we have to save Mr. K. So I did invest 30 intel in this region. Uh, it's probably a mistake overall, but you know what? I think I just can't let Mr. K go while simultaneously also having this region that's uh, half decent. So let's move up here with Constantine. I just want to get, like, preliminary vision around to make sure there's no stupid civilians hiding in the dumbest possible spots. Looks like we're good. Christine's going to go scouty-scouty here. We're going to need to dash like the wind. There's only six to nine enemies, and there's two of them. Interesting. Do I want to fight these guys or just sneak right past them? You know what? It's only a pod of two, and I actually do have a shinobi here who can keep concealment. And I can position. probably kill them not all that difficultly. So I think I actually might want to ambush them. I can also burninate them with my brand new phosphorus, but let's get me right on up there. Wilhelm, we can't get you. Actually, we could get you elevation. But I saw that something was seeing... Is there a, is there a drone up there? There must be. So let's come over here then with Wilhelm. Because I saw as I was zooming out, all those tiles were red. There must be a drone I didn't see or something. Yep, there it is. There's the drone. Awesome. Nice catch. I say to myself in the privacy of my own room, good job, self. You're the best. Very good. Looking good today. Uh, now then. I heard another back even further out than that. I do feel like this squad has the potential to kill everything on the map without too much issue. Um, Christine can't really... Let's get, let's get her up here. But I'm going to have to, like, ambush things at least a little bit. I'm going to have to keep concealment with Christine. So, how can I eradicate an M2 gunner and an archer? Well, we're going to have to dash at least one more turn. So, let's dash Constantine up there. That looks good. Looks like they're walking over there. You know what? Let's dash me up here. Maybe they'll come a little bit closer and I can burninate them or something. Wilhelm, we need you to get up there. But before you do, let's get Christine up into that corner. And then now you can actually take her spot. Great. We now have um, close encounters with... A Constantine, which is nice. No tower hack for us because we only brought four people. There's another... Wait. Yep, that's another mech right there. Interesting. Are they coming close enough for my phosphorus? Maybe. Maybe not. If I had Inferno, yes. Right now, I'm not 100% sure. I think actually yes. I think yes. Anything else that we see on the map? Answer, no. I'm pretty sure that gunner is right there. You can see he's like right in that tile. Where I am, can I burn down? Oh my god, I can. I'm not going to hit Constantine. I am going to hit the gunner. I am going to hit the mech. I'm going to hit both their tiles. Can't go wrong, oh friends. Burnation with a new phosphorus, which now shreds. Yes. Gunner hit for three. Looks like he's not on fire. Uh, hit the mech for three. Okay, not the best burnation in the world, but you know what? Oh, the gunner is on fire. Best burnation in the world. Okay, not quite, but we're fine. Other mechs going to come over. It's probably not going to be an alert just yet uh, because I, the, the flamethrower is actually pretty quiet. And the range we are at right here with Wilhelm, I believe that if he has a suppressor, does he have a suppressor? Let's find out. AP rounds, autoloader scope. He does not. Hmm. I believe that they actually won't hear it regardless. They won't hear these gun uh, gunshots. So Wilhelm, APM, well, not that it matters because I shredded the armor off. Go for it, mech. Have fun time. God, that is very scenic, though. Sometimes this game is very good-looking, and then most of the time it's not. Um, 
Well, I guess that's not true. Most of the time it is good looking and sometimes it's not. This is probably more an accurate way to say it. Let's have Constantine murder this doofus down there. Do we have is that close enough for close encounters? No, it's a tile off. I don't want to move up though because I risk activating, so I'll, I'll just give up the close encounters. Don't care. 82, 92 with Grace. Constantine, execute! Awesome. This frees up Wilhelm to take a shot at the other doofus. Nice. Crit for 10 somehow. Great. Okay. 69% heavy gunner and no problem for Wilhelm. He don't care. Nice. He's also burning and he's going to take two rounds. Uh, only for three though. Whatever. That's fine. Now then. We need to get a, the show on the road. Is there any civilians here? No. Uh, let's come like out there. Let's see what this pod over here is. Okay. That is, that is actually a mech. An M1 mech, an archer, and a sectoid. That is one, two, three. This is four or five, and this up here was six. There's another pod of three someplace. We need to get Christine to go find the other pod. I'm going to move back here where she can look back around the corner. We see nothing. Okay. Gunner burns for two. We've got to do a smidge of damage to him to ensure that he burns to death at the end of the turn. This pod does appear to be an alert. Oh, here is the other pod. It's a sergeant and a mech, and they are getting very close. Somehow they're an alert as well which surprises me greatly. I, I wouldn't have thought anything would have been on alerts because we were pretty quiet. Maybe it was the shotgun from Constantine. A non Well, that's actually suppressed as well. And that has just a basic one. I wonder if we had a better shotgun suppressor if nothing would be on alert, because that's the only thing that could have heard anything. The flamethrower is very quiet. Um, it, it had to be Constantine's shotgun, to be entirely honest. Okay, well... Now we know where probably everything on the map is. There might be one more drone. I'm going to go for a kill all strategy here. And I think the way I'm going to do that is just to go crazy because everything's on alert. So can I do something ridiculous like launch a rocket over there? No. Can I come up here without activating? No. I could only move a couple tiles without activating. But I could move up here, see those guys, but then Christine's going to get spotted when they move forward. And then she's going to activate these that doofus over there. She can't move where she is. She has no other option. Interesting predicament. These guys are probably coming over. I guess we could let them and we could let these guys do nothing. God, I wish I had a sniper right now. That wouldn't be altogether super bad. Wilhelm, you could go someplace like up here to get an overwatch shot against all those doofers. Also not a bad idea, but then again, who's going to kill that guy down there? Answer, I bet I can. I bet I can come down here like this or whatever and shoot that guy just for a couple points of damage because I'm that good. Or even down here, would I activate that pod over there? I don't think so. Would I activate the drone? Maybe. We'll find out right now. Bring me on down. A whole bunch of civilians running every which way. Do I activate anything? Answer, no. 60, 70 with grays and me. Go for it. Just a little snippy snip. A snippy. Oh, okay. Order right through his skull. Yep, either way. Right through his skull for five. I'll take it. Wilhelm. You can now move up here. We know everything's on alert, so we need some cover. We'll go on Overwatch with you. Constantine, honestly, I don't know what to say about this in regards to the fact that wherever you go, stuff might see you, and that's bad. So Overwatch is probably not very good for you right now. So why don't we just move to a place where next turn we can run pretty far and this turn, no one will see you, which, where even is that? Here? Could I go inside? Actually, yeah, I could go here. Let's do that, and we'll drop down with Constantine right here. Shouldn't see anything. No one sees him. He's making all kinds of noise. He don't care. Uh, let me overwatch. Uh, and Christine, we're just going to overwatch and pray for luck here. We thinned out the gunner. Maybe we can activate with an overwatch shot or something, get a little bit of free damage in. Then we're going to have to go crazy. Sectoid's like, hey, friends, I see the zombie. Oh, right, it's the corpse. It's the corpse that put them on alert. Uh, these guys are indeed going to walk off here. Wilhelm swinging a hit right in that sergeant. Oh, he didn't like that for five. That's where we are, guys. But guess what? Christine's right there in. Blade Storm. Oh, for two, though? Come on now. That is disappointing in the extreme. We need better things. Also, also, she was on Overwatch. So she not only shoots the guy, but also stabs him. And Constantine pulls off a miracle shot from cross map. 25% graze for two. He's dead. Great. Mech is now on alert. Can do whatever it wants. Uh, because Christine got spotted, this thing activates. Everything on the map is a go. And we have no more concealments. Uh, what are these guys going to do? They were on alert, so they can shoot. They could. This is... Uh, okay, the sectoid is now taking a second action. And it's going to disorient her. That is actually kind of cheap. And then here comes the mech. Shoots her in the back. 
uh, for 73% and hits. That's actually kind of really stupid that the Sectoid got two actions. It resurrected and then it, it like activated and then it got to also disorient. Never seen that happen before, but yeah, it's definitely a thing that can happen. So, uh, Wilhelm, what kind of shots do you got, friend? You have a 100 on the mech and you got a 98 on the mech. Well, which one's more important? The archer we can probably take a shot from, but and most likely will arch. So why don't we go for the bigger mech since you have the AP ammo? A shoot right also, it's a 98 versus a 100. Yeah, that's right. So that's probably a good idea. Right now is the most damaging time of the entire thing. So we'll turn on a fortify. By damaging, I mean dangerous. 100% Wilhelm, take out the mech, please. Or at least hit it once and take it out with your second shot. Either one would be great. Fantastic. You hit it for seven. We could finish it off right now, or we could have you lay into the other one. That's a good, a good, good, good question as to which one is better. Constantine does not have the ability to use run and gun without a command, and no one can command him. Unless I'm forgetting who I have here, and no, I'm not forgetting that. So we're gonna have to run and gun up and shoot something in the face. The question is what? I don't care about the zombie. Probably makes sense to run and gun up there and shoot that doofus, but we're not gonna kill it. So what do we do then? Run and gun over here and shoot this mech in the face? He has AP ammo, he can probably kill it, but then we're probably gonna activate a drone, and this little doofer's gonna come over and be like, Hello, I hit you in the back, my name is Doofer Doofer. Sounds good to me, fortified Constantine, also pop run and gun, great. Let's get right in later, GoPro. All out GoPro, 100%. Hi, mech, we're right in your face, but guess what though? We don't care because your face is gone! Damn it, I was hoping that would be awesome. Like, the more I get... Actually, we did critically hit him, but the mech has one HP remaining. Well, that's a fascinating turn of events here. I could probably move up... ...and take out... ...one of the mechs. Could I, with a roused hit, two of them? No. Could I move here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I might be able to come here and burninate them both, but then we'd lose a lot of loot. Which is also not, like, a condition I'm super happy with. I think the smartest thing for me to do is just to move up and shoot the little doofer mech. Let's do that. Move up here. Great. Probably should have moved around the other direction, but whatever, just in case we saw that drone. Uh, from where we are, I think the smartest thing for me is 69%, no, 54% on that mech. Defense minus 15, you say. This one has defense minus zero. Oh, that is, I can't kill the other one though. They're immune to incendiary stuff. I could incendiary the freaking zombie. But you know what? Constantine can tank a zombie, no problem. So here's the plan. We're going to have me 54% the archer, 64 with graze, or I can roust it and be safe. You know what? It's just a doofus archer. 64% graze me. Take it down. Nice. Well, how about that? Superior to your defense. That's nice. Is that our first M3 loot of the game? I think so. Wilhelm, you're free to 100% the other mech now. Take him down. Okay. Well, I'm about that. And now, oh, I forgot all about implacable. Huh? I could have, I completely, I could have set that up much better than than I did. But let's move Wilhelm up even higher now. Uh, and this leaves just Christine, who, because of the disorient, cannot slice. She would have been able to rip that sectoid to pieces if she could have done that. Unfortunately, she can't. So, what I'm actually thinking of doing here, although this is kind of ult ultimately cheeky, let's toss up a body shield. The mech is going to micro-missile if I come down here. I'm almost positive. What's likely to shoot her? The sectoid we will do psi stuff. All right, let's body shield then against the mech. And then since we can't do awesome stabbies, let's run her down here right next to this zombie. Just like that. Hopefully this works out the way I want. That's our turn. The zombie turned around. It did notice her there. Great. Zombie's like, hey! Hey, get her! And she's like, what? I have combatives, but also I forgot that I was disoriented, so I can't use it. Luckily, I did use the body shield against the mech, but the mech's like, hey, I don't care. Here comes some missiles. Hits Christine for three. Hits Constantine for three. Hits its own doofus for five. Great. God, that's so cheap that she was disoriented, though. And the sectoid shoots her 43%. Wow. A sane. Very sane. I could actually slice that thing and come over here and slice that thing. What's the damage now? It's 75%. We can give her Lone Wolf if we get Constantine the hell's out of here. And we can get Constantine not quite the hell's out of here. 
if I want to do this the way I want to do it. Wilhelm, any shots? No. Free reload, though, looks good. Let's come over here. Uh, you can get an implacable, though, if you shoot this mech and kill it. So we need a little bit of damage on it. Who is most likely to get the damage on it? Well, I guess actually Constantine, even though he can't get very close to it. Let's see what he can do. We'll move him as close as we can get. We do. We did have a, con a close encounter there against the zombie, but I don't care about it so much. 86%, don't care. 73 on the mech. This is what I care about. Constantine, GoPro friend, 83 of the grace. Nice, with the AP ammo, that'll soften it up quite a bit. Yes, indeed, hit for nine. That's what I like to see. Now, let's get Wilhelm what down right in the stupid thing's face. I'm gonna be like, hey, stupid thing, greetings from Wilhelm, 100%, you dead. Also, while we're at it, we're gonna be like, Wilhelm, I got implacable. I'm, I'm tempted to go here to get both loots. I kind of guess it depends on what happens with Christine. She could slice this thing, and then if she fails to kill this thing, it's probably a good idea. Let's do that then. 80% slice and a dice, Christine. Rip that zombie to shred. Oh, come on. Graze for one. What the frigging hell? All right, let's come in here then. We'll take cover against the sectoid. 75% in the corner. Not the best. Red fog, though. What are you going to do? And hit for nine. Now that's the best. I could have gone in there, and then the sectoid would have had to have moved. Uh, and in so doing... We would have been much better off in terms of um, getting a blade storm against it and killing it. Now, the question is, this thing's not going to die, and it's going to come hit Constantine. I can come up here and roast it and also grab that loot, but I risk activating a drone in the process. So, of course, I'm going to do it before I even finish talking. I got an advanced got speed that. BCS, Dang. one of my favorite things in the universe. Uh, we're now going to take Wilhelm. You know, if I could just clip that sectoid... And I can't quite do it in any way. I'm going to have to use my roust here to obliterate this doofus zombie. I think it's the smartest thing to do uh, for the time being. Yep, let's do it. See a zombie. A toodle frutal. You've been burnt to death by me standing in a fountain. And now, I could grab both of these with Wilhelm, but that's very dangerous with the sectoid there. So, but then again, if we move Wilhelm here and allow the sectoid to take the shot, Christine will get a blade storm against it. So let's do it. Let's bait that sectoid to take a shot at an exposed Wilhelm, running him into the open with implacable, grabbing a scope and impact fields. I like impact fields a lot. Let's see if the sectoid takes the bait now and shoots at Wilhelm. Come on, sectoid. He's standing. Oh, Christine, blade storm. Wonderful. We still have two uh, drones on the map, and more importantly than that, though, advanced hair trigger. We've got 4,892 turns to get to that evac, and reinforcements are incoming. So, while we might have killed most things on the map already, uh, we haven't killed all the things on the map right now. So, let's move Christine right through the door. Also, she's going to be wounded for quite a while. What did I just activate? I activated a solo drone who just flew through that window. That's actually really cool. I like that the cutscene there, the look through the window, the broken glass, everything about that was super duper cool. Constantine, can you move up and get a close encounters? Looks like not even remotely close, but you can move up. And so there's that. And then you could just shoot it 67%, who cares? You don't need aim when your name is Constantine. There goes that doofus, no problem. Uh, let's get me... You know what? We just need someone to hack this door. That's going to be Christine. Everyone else can probably start getting set up now. Uh, to murder everyone else on the map. Everything else on the map. So back here with Wilhelm. We're going to dash. I think the last drone is way back near my starting location. I'm very worried about how long it's going to take us to get there and the amount of reinforcements that might be incoming as a result of this. Christine, hacky hacky, Shinobi. You also have red fog, though, so this will probably be a little lower than we'd like. However, Mr. K, we're coming for you, friend. 40% versus 2. That's actually a good choice here. Two new rebels in a haven that I really do care about rebels... Let's do it, Christine! No wait, Anthony! Oh no, that's a failure. That's a failure if ever there was one. We're in. There he is, Mr. K. And here is Gi Hey. I like the name Gi Hey. That's pretty awesome. Be like, hey, my name is Gi. Uh, let's work or, or run over here rather with everyone. Let's just get full on dashy McFlashy like all the way to the end of the unit. Or, oh, I thought that, that Doom there was a. Uh, Activation of sorts. It wasn't. Everything was fine. Running. And now it's just a lot of clicky McClackers. We only have one drone. Come on, can we get coming around the corner here? I think we'll be fine. This is a very low strength region, so the alert isn't going to be very high. 
The, the second wave of reinforcements will take, you know, a few turns, and in the first wave is just two guys. Oh, I, I hear the drone behind me. Reinforcements are incoming next turn. Uh, let's keep dashing, though. Mr. K, go for it. How far away are we? Pretty far. So let's set up then for an ambush against them. Seems doable. I think they're actually going to drop right here on top of us, so I probably shouldn't have moved Wilhelm where I just did. Uh, let's get Constantine out there to get an overwatch shot. I'll just reload an overwatch. Constantine overwatch. Christine, you need to go someplace where you're not going to be like in the middle of all of this, so way out there so you can dash in and like slicey dicey. And Gi hey, let's move on up. And Zaidun Hawass, you sir, a run. A runny McRunners. Oh, wow, Gihei just came out of nowhere like ninja. Do I see the makings of a new shinobi, friends? What do we have here? Whoa, that's an archer and I think an M... Oh, that's a, a scout? Is that what... Yeah, that's a scout and an M2. Uh, oh, no, M1 archer. God, I'm all confused here. Nice, though. Constantine's gonna get a fun time. Right, mm, um, right, mm, mm, um... What? Uh, I don't understand. Wilhelm was on Overwatch and had a line of sight. Constantine was on Overwatch and the guy just ran by. He had lightning reflexes. The mech didn't move. Okay, so that actually, everything that just happened does make sense. Constantine has a close encounter shot. Let's put it to good use. 83% Constantine, mech face. Okay, great. Uh, now then, that being a a non-turn ending action. We can either kill that doofus or not, depending on what we want to do. Kind of depends on the scout here. I can probably burninate the scout. <gasps> no! I can incendiary this. I love this little incendiary grenade. Let's bring me someplace where I can guarantee land that. Like, say, back Hi, here. God. Great. That looks awesome. I kind of like want to go kill that scout or the drone for the loot now that I'm thinking about it. I know it's after me. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Killing it with a fire. A boop. Oh my god, I killed it with fire like crazy. Constantine, have fun, friend. <laughs> right in the face. All right, let's continue the retreat a full speed ahead. Unless I want to try to kill the drone. Um, I don't know. Probably not. I, I mean, I know it's coming after me, which is kind of awesome. But good lord, is this evac like 432 miles away here. Everybody run. Run, run, run. Nice! We see the drone! Come towards me, drone! Come towards me! Perfect! That could- oh no, it shoots Constantine! For one. But now he's disoriented, which is kind of annoying. Because he's gonna have minor difficulties assassinating it. I, however, am right here. I can just rouse this stupid doofus thing. Don't care. Two to five damage. Shred a point of armor. Sounds good to me. A burn innate. Great, it's down to like two damage or some such. I could have Constantine come over uh, and shoot it, but it's kind of dangerous. Who cares? We'll do it anyway. Constantine, come on over. 51%, 61 degrees. Take it out front. Nope. All right, it might do a point of damage. It, oh, but we got close encounters. Apparently it was within the range, even though it, I swear it's not. But okay, if you want to play it that way, fine. We'll take it anyway. There we go. Second time's a charm. Loot. Erledished. What did he say? Oh, I didn't, I didn't hear the second one. But it looks like no loot, so that was just kind of a... That was a fun time, but it really was not um, a necessary thing for us to do right there. And so that's it. And uh, now we get out of here. Get out, get out, everybody out. We're going to get out before... Uh, every, or rather, everyone's going to get out before the next wave of reinforcements, so we're good. Was that Gihei right there? No, that was like one of the rebels. Just seems like that rebel had a lot of mobility. All right, and... Come on, game. No, you want to. You just want to be slow about everything. But everyone out, 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 out. The fast animations. Go, go, go. Okay, motor reinforcement. The only thing problem with fast animations is actually moving the cursor around the map. As such, great. There we go. Here do they come? We don't care in the slightest. Yep, skip. Whoa, hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> Couldn't be any closer than that, could you? Oh, but they did go in a they did go in an interesting place for them to be in. So let me think about this for just a second here. I could move over here. How does close encounters work again? 
since the change. Just want to make sure, once per turn, gain a bonus action after taking a standard shot with the enemy within four tiles. Okay. Constantine could do some crazy stuff here. Also, he could get himself killed. Let's come over there with Constantine. Uh, we'll toss... Oh, wait. I needed a reload. Never mind. Forget it. We're just going to get out. Uh, let's bring me back here. I wanted to have some fun times, though, with a rocket. Just in case I can get a smidge of kill XP. So let's toss a rocket. You know, right... You know what? I could put it right in the middle of the truck. No, it's too dangerous. Let's to to toss it right there. Let's see if I can hit the truck. Hit the rocketeer. Let's teach him a thing or two about rocketing. Oh, you stupid rocketeer. See you later, friend. That's how rockets are done. That's how rockets are done. Operation Flagrant Loss. A flagrant victory, it would seem. Minus Christine taking a whole bunch of damage. But hey, that was a four-man operation against some pretty strong mechs uh, and such. So yeah, I'll take it. Also, Mr. K! Mr. K is here. The aliens don't stand a chance, Commander. Heels are MVP player number one, obviously, Christine. Once again, that Bladestorm and the Sergeant combined with the Overwatch SMG right in his, like, gut as he ran out, killing him on activation. Uh, also, did she take... Did she tank? Yeah, she did take the, the shot from the zombie. I actually thought she was going to use combatives, but I messed that up. Doesn't matter. She dodged it anyway. Uh, then she went in and murdered the sectoid with nine damage on that flesh, and then also bladestormed that. She took a bunch of hits, kept everyone else safe, and she's only wounded for nine days after all of that. That is definitely MVP material right there. We picked up a superior defense, which is fantastic. We picked up advanced speed, which is super fantastic. Advanced hair trigger, I'm sure one of the specialists will love that. Scope impact fields, Los Fantasticos once again. Gi Hei is here, and more importantly... Mr. K, look at him. Look at him playing it cool, just hanging out in the back. Like, you guys don't see me. No need. No need. No big deal. I'm just here. Everything's fine. Go about your business. If there's a K Street, I'll be there to insinuate a nightmare. But until then, I'm just gonna... Oh, there he is! There he is! Yep, Mr. K, he heard me calling to him and he poked out for just a second. And then this doofer is like, hey, look at me, though. My name's Fadrabors Zahidi, I guess. I don't know. Regardless, that was a pretty good mission. Let's see what we got, though, for these here rookies. Please tell me PsyOps number one. Answer, nope. Mr. K has acceptable PsyOp, though. But could I make him a non-gunner? I mean, well, he does have 59 aim. And 16 mobility. I don't know what to do in this case. Does it, I don't have to think about it, though, because I have a ranger and a technical coming up for 10 days. So in 10 days, I have to decide. Unless I want to go Psy. Uh, Mr. K, Psy. Would Mr. K be a Psyop? I'm so short on the Psyops, I feel like it kind of makes sense regardless. Mr. K doesn't have the good aim. Could be a Grenadier. Could also be a Shinobi, though. Gihei is a little slow on the Shinobi front, but super high on the aim front would be a fantastic Sharpshooter, or... Yeah, I think Sharpshooter, negative six defense with 14. Actually, really good tank. Huh. I wonder if I should make Gihei into a gunner tank because of the negative defense, super high dodge, shooty gunner tank. And Mr. K becomes a shinobi? I think so. I don't know. I think the baseline for Psy is 20, so let's just average. So that's what we'll do. Uh, Gihei becomes a gunner tank, and Mr. K becomes a new shinobi. It only makes sense, and we need some shinobis anyway, so sure. Uh, that's what's going to happen in the future when the um, classes are all sorted out. For now, we have a supply drop of like three supplies I don't care about. Uh, more importantly, what the heck is this? Something just popped up. Looks like we have a three-day, three-hour smashing grab. That's not happening. No thank you. Uh, however, I have now two resistance contacts down here. Let's go full-on intel all around. Great. Oh, Matt Love's been sitting in here forever. I should probably pull these people out. I don't, I don't know. We'll get around to it eventually. Uh, Jacob was recruited in... I think that was the last episode. Hasn't actually done anything yet. We'll put him on intel. This mission here, I was waiting for... I was waiting for... Freytag. And we have 16 hours, and then we're gonna queue that up. That's what I was waiting for. That's what I'm very interested in. So let's scan him. scans a lot. Looks like Bakes has recovered. We got a six-day extract scientist. 
Interesting. Kirill Kirilenko. Interesting. Interesting McFlinteresting. That we can definitely do. I don't see any reason not to do it. I do have five scientists already, but you know what? Keeping four in here and one right there, that's five. And having one more to be a dedicated Scilab trainer, it would be a good thing. So, I guess we'll go queue that up. But before I do, I need to keep it... You know what? Let's just wait four hours for the fray tag thing. Then we'll gear this up with fray tag with all the trainees. Then we'll gear that up with like a slightly better squad because it's strength too. So, one hour it looks like Mag finally picked up Lone Wolf. And one more hour fray tag picked up Fire Discipline. Two hours, five, five hours for Mag weapons. Fantastic. But for right now, let's go gear this up with Freytag. And here's the squad. Freytag's a fancy fellas, a minus all the fancy fellas, and a plus a Run PMC making his debut. Fatter Day also debut. Paul is here. Triple Psy. That's right, friends. Svetlana making her debut. A server cat and Dagar. Good lord. Look at this training operation. This is going to be amazing. However, a couple things we need to do. Run PMC needs a gun, and so does a fatter day. So let's come in here. You know what? I have mag weapons in like... Let me think about this for a second. We have an eight-day mission here. This is eight days, seven hours. And I'm pretty sure I get mag weapons in four hours. Let's actually wait, as annoying as that is, actually five hours. Okay, a couple hours here. Boom, red screen rounds are complete. Great. Do I want to buy anything for red screen rounds? Or after that? No, I don't. Okay, the word and we'll build the let's, let's pull out. Can I pull this person out? Nope, I can't. It's, as long as these things are in here, great. So empty, empty, great, great. Come over here, boom, empty, great. Come down here, clear that up. Ding bong lay. Fantastic, you're in. Why does that still say 16 hours, though? Oh, did you get moved? Did I, how the heck did that get messed up? Okay, eight days, that's better. Instead of 16 days, not 16 hours. One hour, boom! A mag weapons. Fantastic. Let's assign some new research. Research is going to be probably advanced mag weapons if we can afford it. Gauntlet Mark II! Yes! Advanced grenade launcher. That's there now. Advanced mag weapons. If I spend the money on this, I won't have any money to buy any of the actual uh, weapons themselves. But you know what? We need to do this like yesterday. I also need swords and it's only three days. So let's, let's prolong the advanced mag weapons. Uh, and yeah, we'll research the Stun Lancer right now, mostly so I can just spend the money to give some weapons to some people going on this mission. And then we'll go drum up the money right after this mission uh, from the black market to uh, research as soon as we're done the Stun Lancer thing. All right, there we go. Faraday gets, gets the first uh, mag rifle of the campaign, blends right in, wouldn't even know it. So let's go to buy. Let's buy one of those um, weapons that we like to call a... What are they? Gauntlet Mark II? No. Gremlin Mark II? No. Not the Advanced Grenade Launcher, though that's interesting that it's back here now. Um, mag Pistols are interesting, but no. Is that all you get is the rifle, the stutter mag, and the pistols? Uh, right. So I can't even I can't even buy the gun then. Do I care about another shotgun? I think Run PMC will be okay. We don't really need it. Uh, I kind of waited all that time just to get that one thing. We're not even going to buy anything else. But you know what we are going to buy, though? is some predator armor but definitely we need to tank it run pmc has three hp let's bring that up oh no guys run pmc what have you done what have you done friend oh good lord good lord johnny maple would approve but the rest of the freaking batterix does not <laughs> not in the slightest let's give you an emergency life support because there's a 99.999 percent chance you're going to die horrifically in the very near future uh, Dagar, you, sir, I think we're gonna go... What was I doing with you? I think it was cooldown spec, right? Because I really wanted the cooldown spec gunner. Anyway, since you're very low on HP, we'll give you that as well. And then as far as everyone else, I think I'm feeling fine with this. Do we want to give you personal combat, something to stay alive for a little bit, superior conditioning, defense, speed, nah. I'll just give you some focus for now, that's fine by me, great. We'll worry about the rest of it later. And then, yeah, this looks okay. A fatter day, can we give you, like, some kind... We had an elite scope. That would be very useful. I'm just going to give you an advanced scope, though, for now. And then let's go for an advanced expanded magazine. You'll definitely need that at some point. And advanced reloader. Great. And I think this squad should be good. Okay, wait. No, Svetlana needs a psyop thing. I know I have some. What are they? Uh, six psy offense. Sure, we'll take that. Great. She's up to 76 now. A lot lower than everyone else. This is just a smattering of gear all around. Like... Ooh, red screen rounds, and Freytag is coming along. Who can shoot more than once? 
Answer, no one. Why don't we give those red screen rounds to someone who has half decent aim? Like, say, the uh, the fatter day here. We'll give him a red screen round. Awesome. All right, I think this is way overkill for this kind of mission. Super training, seven-man operation. Let's go. All right, now we need to go get up this other mission here for the scientists. No, not that one. It's like this one down there. Five days, 15 hours. That's plenty of time. Here's the squad. It's the dandy doofuses, by which I mean Emerald and Zera, accompanied by my only remaining Shinobi, Ashug, also Vince, and also a Wilhelm. Uh, this time around, though, I do want to see if I can squeeze out a couple more of those weapons. Laser, no, not laser rifles, mag rifles. They take 30 supplies, and I spent it all on armor, so I can't build any of them. I think we'll be okay without it. It would be really awesome to do it right now, but we're already under-infiltrated here a little bit. So I think the plan is, you know what, let's just let that slide. But I will come in here and instead build one mag pistol. And we'll give that to ye old Amaral. Bam! Can't go wrong with that, unless I can. I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, this looks pretty solid all around. This squad is awesome. I'd love more to S uh, suppressors. Like, look at the crazy, crazy amount of loot I have here. Elite auto loader, elite scope, two advanced stocks, two advanced laser sight, three advanced scopes, expanded magazine, advanced, advanced auto loader, advanced, two advanced hair triggers. I have an insane amount of uh, just gear. The thing is, no one really needs this stuff. Like, let's come over here, though, for a second. Advanced hair trigger. Do we have an elite one? No, we don't. Can we do something like Elite Autoloader on Vince? He could really use that. How about an Advanced Expanded Magazine? Awesome. That'll buff up his capabilities quite a bit. Uh, Wilhelm, you just have a regular scope. We could make it so you never miss. Elite Scope for you. I'd rather give it to the to Josh, to be honest, though. Let's give you an Advanced Scope. Also, Advanced Autoloader, sure. And you're already good there. Yeah, we're just going to upgrade all kinds of stuff. Zetra, what's your gear looking like? Advanced Hair Trigger, Elite Autoloader. That actually looks great. Can't go wrong with that. And, you know, Emerald's never going to fire at all. So this squad will be fine. They'll be under-infiltrated a little bit. But you know what? They're, they've got it. Off they go. Sky Ranger deployed. Alrighty. Oh, what's this? Nine days, 20 hours. Extract VIP. We get an engineer and an intel package. Now that is, I, well, actually thinking about it now for a second, Intel package is good. Engineer, not so much. I only have three, sure, but in eight days, I have a need for exactly zero. Maybe when I liberate India, I could put one down there, I could put two in here at some point, and then I'm basically done. I guess I could keep one down there or something. It's, it's not... Not a super important mission to do. The intel package is okay. I mean, but it's random. It could be anything. The engineer itself is okay, but we don't really need it. You know what? I might just let this run. We have 10 days. I might just let it run for a while, and maybe we'll do it uh, right here with the, the ruffians come out, and then we can gear up a slightly better squad using them. I think that's actually a smarter plan. What is this? Extract or a rescue? This is actually extract. So we need a shinobi for this. We don't have any anyway. So we're going to wait for Russell. And it looks like we're very close to getting this mission done. Two days, 16 hours. Let's just scan over here in Eastern Europe. Or or should I go... Uh, nah, I think Lib 2 is already spawned. We need to try to detect it as hard as we can. I could come down here and try to scan for the troop column. But, you know, I don't care about that too much. We also only have four on Intel anyway. So, yeah, we'll just let that go. And another mission. We have now five days. Ooh, smash and grab. Extremely light. Want. Very much need loot. Want. Need loot. However, squads, though. A squads, though. We have Constantine, Josh, Macronova. If I wanted to pull them out. And we have... Oh, we could do this. Yep, we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. It's going to be fun times. Let's go pull everyone out of all Haven duty all around the universe. And we'll make a squad. I don't have anyone set to this. Definitely Slade's coming along. Love the Overwatch. Definitely Josh is coming along. And almost assuredly a Macronova is coming along. Macronova is the ultimate a smash and grab extraordinaire, if you've ever ever asked me. Let's come down here and get up a squad number four. Problem, I don't have a squad number four. Um, 
And I haven't really found anyone to make a squad number four around. There's been a lot of su suggestions, but none of them really popped out. Like, these ones are fantastic. I love them. I don't know who deserves a squad. Does it matter? Because they all get messed. Does Josh need his own squad? He wasn't a squad. I forget which one, though. I had to kick him out to go to liaison duty. Um, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know who to make a squad out of here, but... Uh, We'll sort it out some other day. For now, I'm going to gear this up and return. And here's the squad. It's Slate, Josh, Ross, uh, Constantine, Macron. Look how close, similar Macronova and Constantine look to each other. They both have hats with, like, bands around them. They both have the same face paint. They both have the same beards. I never realized this. I've had them in my character pool for, a, what, a year and a half now? Never noticed how similar they were. Uh, but, all this being said, we need to give Josh some better stuff here. He has an advanced scope. Screw that. Elite scope. Advanced stock. Oh, where did my elite stock go? I think I gave it to, like, Juan or something. And an autoloader, probably that's fine. Advanced autoloader, great. Who else actually does some shooting here? It looks like Slate. He's just got this lame hair trigger. Why don't we give him an advanced hair trigger? He's got an expanded magazine. We can't actually give him a better one. He does have a suppressor. I want someone to have that. But it might make sense. I don't think he ever takes, like, regular shots with the scope, so he probably doesn't need it. But a laser sight would be great. Uh, instead of the suppressor. But we are actually very close here, so I need someone to have that suppressor. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave him on the suppressor. Uh, and then, gear-wise, Macronova, I pulled the APM out a long time ago. Should I build a new one for him? Because we have none right now. We have eight somehow. Uh, in the barracks, but none right now. Any hacking? Slate could hack. Isn't Slate the one who has incredibly bad... No, that must be Vince who has incredibly bad hacking. Slate's okay. Could build another red screen round for Macronova. Eh. I'm not really seeing it. He could shoot twice. Maybe it would work to hack something, but by the time he shot something twice, it'd probably be dead. So, I mean, I, don't, I doubt there's going to be any sectopods or anything, so... Let's just build one more AP round. Great. Uh, we will indeed give that to Macronova. And otherwise, this squad's looking pretty solid all around. I'd like to build him a, um, a mag stutter thing, but we don't have the supplies, and I don't have the time to go fly off to get them. I think we'll be fine just a few hours short here. If we have to get, like, a few more enemies... You know what? We can do it this way. I don't think Josh is going to need some more... Well, he might, because we don't have any shinobis on this. And we need, definitely need at least one med kit. Okay, let's just leave it as it is. We'll under-infiltrate by a few percent. I think we're fine. Off we go. God, look at this squad. They're all red. I should, maybe I should make this a squad and make it the... My Xavier Zero Thermic Xenophobes or whatever. Like the blood red icon again. I never used that last season. That could be cool. Uh, but we'll find out in the future if... Oh, wait. East Africa is actually down to one strength. India is now up to seven strength. Fascinating. I didn't. I thought the vigilance would be low enough that that wouldn't happen. It must have been pulled out of East Africa in a supply raid that we didn't detect, which is fine by me. Let's come up here and focus on Lib 2 like I've been talking about for four hours, and I think the next mission is going to be a stealth mission, believe it or not. A stealth assassination. New target acquired. Bam. Lib 2. Yes, it is. Engineer. Extremely light. Three days, five hours. Extract. Uh, this one, if I boosted, I'd have four days and, like, 17 hours, and I would have... That would... I could actually do this one if I made a squad to do it, but I would need Russell to do it. So we'd have to run this right now, and it's not ready to run. Or we, we'd need a Shinobi, rather. I could cancel this extract. The Dandy Doofuses. What is this squad? This squad is... pretty good. They could probably... Okay, do I want to extract a scientist for which I have no particular need? Or do I want to invest intel to finally finish up this Liberation 2 for an engineer, which I have even less of a need for? To be honest, I think I'm going to let this... This is very difficult, but I think I'm going to let it go. Because I, I just don't want to spend the intel, really. If I had more intel, I would do it, but I don't uh, have it, and I don't want to spend it. So, we'll scan ahead a little while. Whoa, Mikola Bila is recruited in West Asia. All right, and then also I think someone was just contacted that I just missed. Let's go probably intel over here. Great, nope, screw that up there. Should I put Haven Advisors in? I should. You know, that we have a whole bunch of people who can be doing Haven Advisors. Let's just throw them all in. Jay Darkman's in. 
Should have put them in before I scanned. But it's such a hassle. You gotta click the button, then I gotta click the button again later, and then click the button again, again, and then again, again. I have to click the button, etc. I mean, I don't know. Haven advisors are kind of cool, but the amount of micromanage that they take. Just really okay. I just I just pulled Matt out to bring him on a mission, and then he just went right back into another place. So in case you can go there, great. All Havens now have an advisor, and I think we're just gonna scan until this neutralized target. It's still very light. I think we're just gonna scan that all the way to 200%, and that's just gonna be all we do. So let's keep scanning. Four days, 21 hours. Ooh, a troop column. Okay, things are changed. I'm doing this. I don't care what I have to do to do it. This is 15 enemies on a troop column. Four days, we don't even have to boost this, but if I did, we could we could really bring a lot of guys. Operation Crocodile Network, that could reduce the strength there as well. And that would even make this mission easier. <gasps> no, this mission is now extremely light. 75 supplies, 21 intel. Think, think, think. Who do I want to do that mission with? Do I want to cancel this extract? Oh, this is this is dicey stuff right here. Well, this is what I know for sure. I, I'm doing that troop column. I want to infiltrate that immediately. However, it only makes sense to get this done first to get Advent's attention. Uh, and I'm going to do this, I guess, next. So when's we returning? It's going to be Russell and Juan Pablo on a stealth McStealth thon to assassinate a VIP. If we can capture the VIP, we get 75 supplies, not gonna happen. We're just gonna get in there, get 21 intel, get out, and uh, spike uh, spike attention. And that's all we're gonna do. Then we're gonna run the troop column and get out of there! See you later, friends! Uh, but until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. That's where we are, guys, but guess what? Christine's right there in! Blade Storm! Oh, for two, though? Come on, now. That is disappointing in the extreme. We need better things. Also, also, she was on Overwatch, so she not only shoots the guy, but also stabs him. And Constantine pulls off a miracle shot from Crossman.